If we are going to discuss humanism in a proper fashion, that means that we need to take into account every single human being out there. A humanist worldview should be looking out for the interests of all people in the world. Now, if there's one issue that seems to be unequal above all else, of course, it is the distribution of wealth in our world. So just looking at the Forbes list of richest people in the world, let me give you a couple of stats here to set the, the mood, if you will, of this little video. So in 2015, there were over 1,800 people on the billionaires list, okay? The richest person, as you all know, was Bill Gates. He's worth $79 billion. Carlos Slim, 77. Warren Buffett, 72. Uh, Charles and David Koch, so two family members, two brothers, are there worth 42, 43 billion apiece. Why do these people need so much wealth? I don't understand why it is that once you've reached 10 billion, 15 billion, that you need to go for that 20, 30, 40, 50. What more can you possibly buy with that money? I mean, I'm not sure that I could actually spend a billion dollars in my entire lifetime. I'm not sure about you, but I mean, I'd have trouble doing it. After having a jet, a few Lamborghinis, and a few houses here and there, I mean, what more do you need? And you'd still have a lot of money left over from your initial billion dollars. That's one billion! These guys are worth 70 billion dollars! They believe, these people, that they deserve this wealth. They see us, now I'm not speaking for them, but I mean it's clear by the way that they hoard their money and that they keep it to themselves that there must be an inherent belief that the rest of humanity does not deserve any of their wealth. They see it as though they earned it, it is theirs, it is not ours, and we need to earn it off of them, basically, so that we can get some of that. This trickle-down economic bullshit well, this proves it right here. Give it to the top, and what do they do? They hoard it at the top. This is anti-human thinking. This is selfish, greedy. It goes against all religions, and it goes against humanist thought as well. How do you think these people see us, the average folk? I'm not rich. You know, I'm a, I'm a teacher. And I mean, uh, all of my social circle, we're all happy people. We live good lives. But we're, we're not rich. We, we don't live with billions of dollars, and we do have financial worries and all of that. How do you think they see us? Well, I have a feeling that they see us as not as deserving as them. Probably not as human as them. Even though we all take shits, we all have mothers, we all love to laugh, and we all dislike crying, you know, we all don't want to have pain, they see themselves as different. They see themselves as deserving more. And this is, quite literally, a crime against humanity. I mean, people are starving all over the world, people are dying at their work, and what do they do? They wake up in their French Riviera home with their butlers and their planes and their mansions and the whole bit. Why isn't there a limit on how much wealth a person can make? This seems to go against our society's religion. Oh yeah, we're, we're Muslim, or we're Catholic, or we're Christian. Bullshit. We are money-based. Our whole religion, our whole system of beliefs is based on money. We are debt slaves. We do everything for money. We People commit crimes. People commit murders. People do all sorts of outrageous things that goes against their morality, against their beliefs, because they need that money. Well, why don't we put a limit on the wealth of the top 0.0001% so that that actually gets redistributed to the people? Oh, no, no, no. I know, I know. That, that, what am I, a socialist? What are you, a Marxist or a communist? No, man, I'm someone with common sense who cares about people around me. If Bill Gates, who has $77 billion, or what is it, 79, sorry, oh, sorry, 79. If we leave him with the nine and split up the 70, what kind of a better world will we have? Oh, I know some of these guys on the list say that they're going to give their money up 
to charity or whatever once they die. Well, we'll, we'll wait to see it. I'm still waiting to see that. Because like the Walton family, the uh, heirs of Walmart, they didn't share it. They just hoard it to themselves. They're the richest family in the United States. And I think they own something like, I forget the statistic, but it's around like, they have the same as the bottom 50%. So the same amount of money as the bottom 50% of the U.S. So they're worth as much as, you know, 170 million people, 160 million people. That's crazy. And it's anti-humanist. It goes against logic and reason. It is the worship of greed. And that's when we choose to stop believing in this lie that some people deserve it more than others, that some people, because of their birth or because of whatever else, that they deserve it more than us. It is a lie. And we need to stop believing in it and the floor will sink from under them. Capitalism, like it or not, is centered on exploitation and greed. The whole banking system, these rich people, it's all based on greed. It's just get more, 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 more. You know, some of these Wall Street bankers work 100-hour weeks. For what? For the accumulation of wealth. I need more, I need more to myself. Why? Why? It's, it's stuff. It's just stuff after a certain point. You know, sure, you need to hit that survival level, but after that, it's just stuff, man. Like, what's actually important in life is spending time with the people that you love, with your friends, with your family, with your children. That's why we work for the money, so that we can enjoy this time. So why do we need to scrap each other to make every little dime that we can? Is it because we're obsessed with power? I don't know. But to me, if we can just accept the fact that it is unacceptable that some people accumulate an unlimited amount of wealth while more and more and more of us live in poverty, the world will become a better place.